Hey everyone, this is Curious Guy. Uh, this is a short video just to talk a little bit about uh, uh, using uh, general aviation headsets with ham radio. Uh, if you remember in an earlier video I was looking at um, push-to-talk microphones a bit like this one. Uh, this is an example from a Yesu handheld uh, radio, but uh, the concept in these uh, microphones is their electret uh, microphone itself, it's basically a capacitor, uh, and I was studying the, the the effects on the oscilloscope. I was tapping into one of these uh, multi-pin uh, 3.5 mil sockets and uh, just trying to learn a bit more about them. The reason for that is I'd like to uh, make use of one of these headsets. Uh, these are general aviation headsets uh, and I'd like to use one of those with my ham radio. Uh, the idea being is that the, the earphones uh, provide a lot more quieting uh, environment to listen to the signals. Uh, they provide a mono sound, not stereo, but uh, that's okay. Um, and they also have a, a boom microphone there. Um, the general environment that you're supposed to use these in, inside a cockpit, it's very noisy. So the microphone is a fairly fairly deaf microphone, if you like. It's not very sensitive uh, and helps to keep down background noise. Um, and I thought it'd be pretty good for uh, operating outside in portable environment, uh, hands-free using Vox or perhaps using a PTT switch built in. Um, now the problem with these uh, is that the general aviation standard doesn't quite work with ham radio um, and you need to match impedances and, and attenuate the signal a little bit. Uh, but there's a really helpful article run from uh, QST magazine in April 2010 uh, and this was uh, a little circuit describing how you can attenuate the signal uh, and get a uh, a pretty clear audio coming out. So I'm part way through my study of making that circuit and uh, I have to thank uh, uh, John Rado here who's the author, probably can't read that, uh, he's Kilo Zero India, uh, sorry, Kilo Zero India Zulu up in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Um, so many thanks John for this uh, information. Um, what I've done towards that tonight is what I'm going to do essentially is run the microphone uh, off the battery that I'm using to run my rig. So in this case, this is about a 13 volt, uh, one of those lithium uh, uh, life batteries, what they call uh, lithium ferric iron uh, PO4, whatever that is. Um, and I'm going to be using that uh, to power the rig and to provide the microphone in these headsets with the necessary DC bias. Uh, now they want to bias her around well, they say between uh, uh, 8 and uh, uh, 15 volts, and I perhaps could run it directly off the mic, off the battery itself. Uh, what I've chosen to do is to provide it with a 9 volt bias, and I'm doing that through a little circuit like this. <coughs> Excuse me. What I've got down here <coughs> is a 9 volt regulating circuit and an LM7809, a uh, pretty common voltage regulator uh, chip simply pass in voltage whoops pass in voltage to one pin the middle pin is ground and the output voltage will be whatever you want in this case nine volts um, the rest of the circuit here is basically following the schematic of this uh, this little diagram here um, and uh, it's pretty simple what I'm hoping to show is that if I if I connect here's the uh, general aviation microphone plug connect that up to the circuit uh, with a 9 volt DC bias I shall get an audio voltage out passing it through these resistors <coughs> again excuse me for my cold uh, we'll get a uh, attenuated signal of around 20 to 40 millivolts which is kind of what my rig can handle uh, so if I just put the camera down a little bit here for a second and put the microphone on Let's see if we can see this thing jumping around. Uh, testing one, two. Testing one, two. This is me talking into the boom mic of my uh, headset. Now the screen here is showing divisions of 20 millivolts per, uh, per square. Um, and so essentially around this base voltage you can see that between my fingers here is about 20 millivolts up and down and then 40 millivolts up and down. So uh, peak to peak, yeah. I can get around uh, 40 or 60 uh, millivolts either side, so that's about 100 to 120 millivolts coming out. 
Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Uh, but I think it's pretty good. Um, I think my microphone input, the preamplifier into my rig, can handle that kind of input. Uh, so uh, it's worth uh, it's worth trying. Uh, so I've got the uh, the well, I've got something in theory working. And of course, the acid test is sticking that into the rig. So we'll try that next uh, another day. And uh, many thanks for watching. Take care. This is uh, Curious Guy, also known as uh, Mike Six November Juliet X Ray. Bye bye.